Sometimes our patients are asked to complete ambulatory blood pressure monitoring. Your nurse will let you know how you will receive your ambulatory blood pressure monitor. With this, you will receive blood pressure cuff, ambulatory blood pressure monitor, batteries, pouch and belt, return UPS label, education booklet and diary pages. Before you start the test, make sure your child takes a shower or bath and wears a loose, comfortable shirt. Also, the parent or caregiver should prepare the monitor by removing the back cover and placing the AA batteries in the monitor, attaching the blood pressure cuff connector to the monitor, and ensuring the connector is secure. You will be given a diary to make notes during the test. This diary will need to be returned with the ambulatory blood pressure monitor. Make a note with each daytime reading in the diary. At night, note what time your child goes to bed and wakes up the following morning. If your child does not sleep well while wearing the monitor, make note of that in the diary page. Note any medications your child takes while wearing the monitor and make note of anything you feel is important or could affect your child's blood pressure. Now, you can place the blood pressure cuff. To do this, first apply the cuff to the non-dominant arm. For example, if your child is right-handed, put the cuff on the left arm. The cuff needs to be worn on bare skin. The marker on the cuff should follow the artery line. Make sure the cuff is snug on your child's arm. Not too loose where it's falling down, but not too tight where it's uncomfortable. The cuff may need to be tightened throughout the 24-hour period. Our clinic uses two different monitors. You'll either receive the OnTrack 90227 or the 90217. The nurse will let you know which one you will receive. On the OnTrack 90227 monitor, press the round button on the front of the device to power the device on. On the 90217 monitor, slide the black button up to power on. On the OnTrack 90227 monitor, press the round button one time to begin the test. On the 90217 monitor, press the blue button one time to begin the test. For both monitors, you will hear two beeps followed by the cuff inflating. When it begins inflating, have your child straighten their arm and remain still. After 24 hours, you can turn the monitor off. On the OnTrack 90227 monitor, Press and hold the circle button down until the device asks, do you want to switch the device off? Highlight yes. On the 90217 monitor, slide the black button down. The nurse in the clinic will provide you with the materials needed to return the equipment. Just place all the equipment, paperwork, and diary in the box provided. Put the UPS return label on the front of the box and return to any local UPS Dropbox. Make sure to mail UPS and not US Postal Service. A few key points to remember. This study is meant to be done in your child's normal environment and activity level. Your child does need to be active while wearing the monitor. Do not sit the entire time, but also do not do any strenuous exercise or activity while wearing the monitor, such as sports. The monitor must be worn for a complete 24-hour period. If we have less than 24 hours on the device, the physician may ask you to repeat the study. The device must be worn at night while sleeping. Complete the diary and return with the monitor. After the first two to three readings, the device will not show anything on the screen. It will be a blank black screen. The device will take readings every 20 minutes during the day and every 30 minutes at night. The automated beep to alert you the device is about to take a reading will silence at night. Sometimes the vibrations of the car will produce error codes. Make sure there are no kinks in the black tubing. 
make sure your child's arm is straight and he or she were still when the monitor was taking a reading. If this continues to happen, power off the device or call the office at 501-364-1847.